Hi! Uh, so, you guys, oh my god, I'm so excited right now. Um, I haven't really talked about this, uh, but um, I figured now is the greatest possible time for me to actually talk about it. Uh, which is, I just got the call uh, from my, um, from the hospital, and they have come back to me with the best possible news, which is that my insurance company has given their okay that they are going to pay for me to have breast reduction surgery. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you have no idea. So, I, um, if you don't know, uh, I, I'm a big busted lady, I've had big boobs my entire life, it's been, um, an issue, <laughs> um, it's got me a lot of negative attention over the years, and it's something that has made me very self-conscious. Um, but on top of the self-confidence issues that I have had, I also have a very, very bad back, um, very painful upper and lower back, painful shoulders, my bra straps kind of dig into my shoulders. Um, and so about, it took me about five or six years um, in my teenage years, late teens and early 20s, where I was really just kind of um, trying to understand. Sorry, one second. Sorry, that was um, that was the phone ring. That was the hospital again. Um, basically, what's happened is this: um, they called me a, a, about ten minutes ago and said that everything had been had gone through. The insurance had come back and said yes, they will pay for it. Uh, and they gave asked me if I wanted to book the surgery or if I wanted to come in and talk to them, ask questions. I of course said yes, please book me in right now. Uh, and so they said the earliest appointment they had was October 3rd, which is, you know, less than a month from now. And since I have a little bit of travel this month, that worked out perfectly. Uh, so I said yes, I booked it in, I was all ready to go, and that phone call was them calling to basically say, uh, right after they got off the phone with me, one of their other appointments called and cancelled, so they actually have an earlier appointment, and I will actually be having surgery September 23rd, which, uh, today's the 10th, so that's less than two weeks from today, I will be having surgery. Um, I'm so excited, you guys! Oh my god, you have no idea what this means to me. So, again, let me get back to my story. Basically, I've, I've had big boobs my entire life, and it, it's, it sucks. You get so much unwarranted attention just for having big boobs. Uh, it, I've figured out ways over the years to hide them. I know the kinds of cuts of shirts that flatter me. I know the kinds of dresses that minimize my breasts. But actually finding bras in my size is next to impossible. Uh, right now, um, because I've breastfed um, three children, I've basically been pregnant or breastfeeding for almost six years now. That's how bad it is. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, my breasts have actually gotten bigger over the last few years because of that. Uh, so right now, I'm actually a 36 double J. Ah, that's huge! Uh, it may not look it, I mean it might look it, you, I don't know, like, they're ginormous. I hide them as much as possible, but uh, anyway, so I've, I've had big boobs my whole life. I hit puberty when I was like nine, and they just kind of went, Phew. Um, actually, that's a lie, they went, Phew, like that. Um, yeah, they started sagging right away. Like, I never went for a training bra, I just went straight into, like, a B or C cup. Uh, and, you know, since I was little, since I was really young, they were saggy and they were big. And I got so many comments and they were so disheartening. And so when I was in my late teens, uh, I kind of heard about a breast reduction for the first time. I'd never known that this was a thing. Um, but because I was so young and I was just like, well, you know, maybe it'll be okay having big boobs and, you know, they kind of run in my family and I knew if I lost a little bit of weight they would go down. And so over the years they just went up and up and up and up and I was getting, you know, worse pain in my back and in my shoulders and it was just getting worse and worse. Uh, and so when I was about 20... 25 um, I was quite heavy by that point you know I was I was over 200 pounds and I decided you know I need to do something because exercising was so difficult with large breasts so I went to the doctor and this was when I was living in the UK and they said yes you are a fantastic candidate for breast reduction except that you're too fat and we're not going to do it unless you lose weight so for over a year um, I continued I tried to lose weight uh, and it wasn't really happening. I had some depression issues. I had some uh, marital troubles with my ex-husband and it just it became clear that I wasn't gonna be able to lose the weight. So I ended up having um, 
bariatric surgery. I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy to lose weight. Uh, and within a year, um, this was in 2008 that I had this, uh, and within a year I lost about 120 pounds. So I was perfect size. And with the weight loss, my breasts had gone down. They were more saggy than ever, but they were smaller. Um, they were still like a, I think they were an F or a G. And, uh, but at the time I didn't mind so much because I was thin and I was loving it. And I also started smoking, which was a big bad thing. Um, but I finally, I said, all right, I've lost the weight, so I'm going to go back. So I went to the doctor again and they said, yes, you're a fantastic candidate. You've lost the weight, but you're a smoker. So we're not going to do the surgery. And I was just, you know, argh, livid. So I went and I started, I, I quit smoking. And I went back to the doctor and they said, okay, so you quit smoking, you're thin enough, that's fantastic, let's book the surgery. So I booked it and I was going to have the surgery in July of 2010. And in mid-June, I came back from a trip to the States with my then fiancé, now husband, and I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> so obviously I didn't have the surgery, I had a baby instead. And from then on, it was just breastfeeding pregnancy, breastfeeding, pregnancy. And I've been breastfeeding since my last child was born last October. So um, this year I have been plagued with really horrendous back issues. Like you have no idea. They have been the worst they've ever been. I've been trying to exercise because, because of my pregnancies, I've put on more weight. And again, I've been struggling a little bit with depression, uh, which just makes it really hard to feel motivated. Um, but with the pain and the, the mental issues, I just, I, I was at a point where I was just like, you know what, I need to do this for me. They are the biggest they have been ever. Even when I was, you know, 260 pounds, my boobs were not this big. Uh, so I, I finally said, you know what, honey, I have to, I have to look into this. If I don't do it now, I'll never do it. I'm 33 years old. Now is the time. We're done having kids. Probably. He's done. And I've basically, I just decided, you know, what, I've got to do it now. It's now or never. So I booked an appointment with a surgeon to go and have a consult. And that was at the University of Utah Hospital here in Salt Lake City. And they were fantastic. Dr. Rockwell is the doctor that I saw. He's a very kind man with a bow tie. Uh, bow ties are cool. And he basically, yeah, him and his colleagues looked me over. They took pictures. They told me what to expect. And they basically said that um, out of pocket, it would cost somewhere between $5,000 and $7,000, which we are prepared to pay, but hoping we didn't have to. Uh, and he said that, most insurances will cover it as long as you meet specific criteria as far as the amount of breast tissue they take from you. So if you, for your height and your weight, they have to take, there's a formula they use that they decide how much breast tissue they have to remove for it to be covered by insurance. So um, they submitted everything to the insurance company and this was last week and they told me they have 28 days to respond to that um, from the date they receive the stuff. Um, and so I wasn't expecting to hear back until at least the end of September, if not, you know, into October. Uh, but amazingly, I got the call today and the uh, woman there said she was shocked, but they came back and they had no problems. They said they were happy to cover the surgery. <sighs> so, oh my God, I immediately called my mom and told her the good news because she knows how much I've been wanting this. She's, you know, over the years been my biggest supporter with this. She knows the issues that I've had. I mean, I'm 33 years old and I've got a little bit of a hunchback. I don't know if you can see it, but I can't sit up straight. Like, oh, if I sit up straight, it's very painful. Um, so I am almost always slouch, which is terrible. Uh, so anyway, oh my god, I'm so excited, and this is just the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me. I'm scared to death, I will not lie. I am absolutely petrified, but I am so ready for this. Uh, so what I've been told to expect is that, basically, I'm going to call the day before, um, so on the 22nd, and I'm going to call them, they'll give me my surgery time, and then I will go, I have to show up an hour and a half before the surgery to get all prepped, and then it's about a three and a half hour procedure, um, where what they're going to do is they're going to, <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever seen breast reduction surgery, seen pictures or anything, but what they do is they cut around the nipple, and then they cut straight down, and then they cut a little smiley underneath, so it looks kind of like an anchor, um, and then they take out um, all this tissue, like a, a bunch of tissue, and then they fold the breast back. So not only is it going to be much smaller, but it'll also be uplifted. So right now my nipples kind of point at my feet, and by the end of this they're going to be pointing where they're supposed to. So that's awesome. Um, and yeah, so basically uh, it's going to, then I'll have a, about an hour to recover, and then 
it's going to take me about six weeks to be back up to snuff, um, about three weeks where I'm just going to be kind of really recovering. I'm not allowed to lift anything, and that's going to be hard because I've got three little boys who love to climb on me and love to be held, including a, a little bitty baby. Um, so it's it's really hard, but it's it's so the right thing, and I'm going to be going to have such a better quality of life. I will be able to keep up with them and exercise because I won't have these pulling me down and giving me such pain. Um, and I'm just I'm so excited. I'm I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, but uh, yeah, and then I, I will have some drains um, that are going to be coming out of my breast to drain off the liquid um, blood and ephemera. I don't really know exactly what it is and that's going to be for a couple of weeks. I will also have to wear a binder which is like an upper body thing that's just going to be worn morning, noon, and night all the time for several weeks. Um, and then once it comes off and the stitches dissolve or come out, I'm not sure which, uh, hopefully I don't have any issues with, you know, the the wound opening or anything. They've told me that that could happen. They've also told me that um, it could become infected. There's obviously risks, as with any surgery, uh, but, you know, they're minimal. They've basically said it's really rare, some of these issues that, that could arise, but that I need to be aware of them. So I'm aware. I've also been told that my nipples could um, either lose sensation, have less sensation than normal, or they could actually have more sensation than normal, and that's a rarer thing to happen, uh, but basically it's a, it's a concern. Um, Right now, my my nipples are quite sensitive, so if I lose some sensation, hopefully, you know, that won't be a big deal. It's funny, because here, when they did the consult, they told me that I could lose sensation, um, but they basically said that's the worst that could happen, whereas when I was in the UK, they said that my nipples, there's the potential that they could actually necrotize and fall off, so... Um, Maybe that's gotten better in the last 10 years, I'm not sure, uh, but I'm sure it is a risk. I'm sure there's a million risks, and I'm hopeful that I'm not going to have to have any problems with any of them, but I do want to keep up to date with this. I'm so excited. I'm going to be doing video blogs leading up to and during and after the actual surgery because I think that this is such an amazing experience. This is something that I know I'm not alone in suffering through. There are other women out there who want to have breast reductions and who um, are suffering the same as I am and maybe they're a little scared or they don't know what to expect. So follow along because I'm going to be talking about this a lot. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened to me and I am so excited and I really hope that <laughs> I can have some support because I'm really scared. So if you have actually had breast reduction surgery or any sort of, you know, enhancement in your breast, please leave a comment. Let me know um, what to expect or what your recovery was or what your experience was. I'd love to know more about it. Um, I've been looking it up online. There's so many stories out there. I can look at surgeons' websites and see before and after pictures and it's really inspiring to see but I, I would love some real life experiences if you're willing to share. So please get in touch. Um, I'm also going to be writing about this on my blog. Uh, that's amotherthing.com and uh, Please, 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 oh goodness, send out good thoughts. I'm so excited. Thanks, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.